In this problem, we're going to convert this number, which is in base 10, uh, or decimal form, to base 5. To do this, we're just going to repeatedly divide by 5 and write down the remainders. So we'll start by taking this number and then just dividing it by 5. Let's see what we get. So 364.01 divided by 5. So I get 7280.2 in my calculator. So to find that the remainder, what you do is you take the 0.2 and you multiply it by 5. So 0.2 times 5 is 1. So your remainder is 1. I'm going to put that in the box. So now you repeat the process, except you take this number. Okay. This time the remainder is going to be 0, I believe. So 7280 divided by 5. Yeah, we just get 1456. So there's not going to be a remainder. But like, let's say you didn't know that, right? So it's really 0.0. So then you would do 0 times, or 0, .0 times 5, which is just 0, right? Because it's really 0, 0. So the remainder is 0. Then you do it again. You take this number, divide by 5. 1456 divided by 5. So we get, should have a remainder of 1, I believe. So 291.2. Yep, and then take 0.2, multiply it by 5, and that gives you 1. Boom. Then you do it again, take 291, divide by 5. So 291 divided by 5. What is this going to give us? 58.2, which again will be a remainder of 1, but let's check. 0.2 times 5 is equal to 1. That is our remainder. Then you do it again. So 58 divided by 5. You just keep dividing by 5. You stop whenever this number is a 0. Okay, so let's see. 58 divided by 5. Ooh, 11.6. And you could do it in your head, by the way. Look, 5 goes into 58 11 times, right? And then 3 is left over. So the remainder is 3. But again, let's say that it's too hard to do in your head. You could do it this way. And this will always give you the right answer. Then you do it again. Take the 11 and divide it by 5. This time the remainder is 1, right? 5 times 2 is 10. There's 1 left over. But let's do it. So 2.2. .2. Then you take 0.2, multiply it by 5, which is 1. Then you do it again. Take the 2, divide it by 5. This is 0 0.4. So you stop because there's a 0. This is your last step. Okay, then you just do 0.4 times 5, it's just going to give you 2. Well, I'll type it in, just double check, 2. All right, now you write it backwards, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 0, 1. So 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 0, 1, and then don't forget to put the word 5 here. And this would be the base 5 representation of this number here in base 10. That's it.